Hey, it's Dry Bear. If you're like me, when you're playing MMOs, you like things to be clean and orderly and function well. You're going to be spending a lot of time playing your characters. Uh, you like everything to be organized. So previously in past expansions, um, there was ways for you to create macros that allow you to uh, take options on your talent tree that have different choices and put them on the same key. And I love doing this. With the new talent trees in Dragonflight, that's no longer the case. You can't use that same command, doesn't work anymore. But I found a workaround that allow you to do it. So in today's video, let's cover exactly what that macro is, how to use it, and why I think it's awesome. As always, if you have any questions or comments for me, you can drop by my live stream. I'm live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Come by and say hi. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, in the past, the talent trees were very similar to these choices, except instead of two, there were three. So it was just a simple tree that you would activate, uh, right? It, it would just come down and you'd have choice one, choice two, choice three. Uh, and in the, in the event that all three of these choices were uh, abilities, I hated the fact that I needed three different keybinds for abilities that will never exist at the same time, right? No matter what you do, you'll have to pick one. Uh, and this is the same right now uh, in, in uh, the new talent setup. But for example, on Hunter with Binding Shot and Scatter Shot, you can't have both of these at the same time. Uh, and in some cases, they have very similar functions where they both do the same thing. When you reach for it, uh, you'll want to have this in the same key. Monk has Chi Wave, Chi Blast. So when you're setting your characters, I always hated the fact that you need to have two different binds for abilities that will never exist at the same time. We used to have the ability uh, in a macro where you can active, you know, you can put the macro down. You can say talent row and columns. You could say row one talent or column one would give the first one. Row one column two would give the second one, which means that you could make a macro and make one button for any of the abilities that you would choose, and it would dynamically choose based on what talent points you have allocated. But because we don't have rows and columns really anymore on these new trees, that is no longer possible. But there is a way to do it. So I'll put this down in the description. Uh, this is a bit of a workaround, but this is what it is here. I'll put this down in the description. It is a uh, macro spell that does a get running macro. It pulls the spell in and you can put it in. So in the event of these, you can see I've already done this for the choice. I can make a macro that does either Binding Shot or Scatter Shot, uh, depending on which one I have chosen. So I have this bound to my Shift V, right? So you have these two cooldowns so I can walk up. While I have Binding Shot active, I can do Shift V. Uh, it's going to do my Binding Shot. There you go. Uh, and then we can let that go on cooldown, reset it, uh, and then go to the next one, um, which will then swap it over. It'll still be Shift V. And that's because of the macro that we have set up. So the way this works is uh, you just do, uh, I, it'll be down in the description, but you do control two tilt as a start of it just to make sure it has the right one. And then you do slash cast of both of the abilities. And then you do a set macro spell, get running macro inside parentheses uh, with a double parentheses to close. The comma space G in quotes, the name of the first spell or G in quotes, the, the name of the second spell. Um, and it's just a great way to simplify this. Uh, anytime you have choices of two abilities, I like having that. And it's nice because I play a lot of characters and a lot of specs. I like being able to switch between them um, and have them set up in the right way. Um, so now this is back. We can switch this over to uh, Scattershot, apply changes. Uh, I still have my macro here, right? So I'll, I'll let that finish. And then when I do Shift V, uh, boom, it's Scattershot, right? So no matter what, Shift V is now the keybind for this talent choice for me. It makes everything easier. It saves me keybinds uh, and makes it cleaner. So uh, if this is something that you're interested in, I'll leave it in the description. Um, if it helps you out, leave a comment down below. Uh, I hope it uh, kind of cleans up your process. But as I was going through and do, redoing my keybinds for Dragonflight, uh, this is something that I, I found as a workaround for losing the macro options that we had in the last expansion with the previous uh, talent tree. So. Uh, if you have any questions or comments for me, you can find me uh, live on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Come by and say hi. Otherwise, enjoy Dragonflight, and I'll see you. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon-exclusive content. Link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.